On the 24th of April, 1936, a Friday, Adolf Hitler formally opened three NS Ordensburgen, which were nationalists, uh, National Socialist Order castles. And these were elite military schools where future Nazi leaders were to be trained for three years. Hitler also gave a belated birthday amnesty to minor offenders who had been fined small amounts or sentenced to prison terms not exceeding one month. Over in China, Lin Cheng, the governor of the province of North Xing'an, uh, is executed in Manchukuo due to alleged secret uh, agreements with Mongolia and spying for the Soviet Union along with three top Mongolian bureaucrats. Two other Chinese bureaucrats are also sentenced to jail for 15 years each. And then a Polish minister or prime minister, it's not entirely clear, Marian Zindram Kozolkowski uh, visits Budapest. Yes, and that's it for the facts today. Um, time to go over some of the comments on the recent videos because uh, I haven't been responding for a few days because I recorded ahead. So let me uh, see some of the most important ones. So yeah, it is now confirmed that um, this, um, if you click on the battle, this uh, reinforcement chance it can in fact be improved by technology. That is the technology you can find a over here. Uh, radio, yeah, reinforce rate and coordination. Very, very good. Then, um, some people said I should go into this province instead. Um, because these three are pinned and then, uh, I could force these guys out. Uh, and you know, maybe I should do that. But we just finally managed to enter this battle. Um. Hmm. I could also just go straight into Addis Ababa itself. Hmm. Okay, I will start moving my tank over here. And when it arrives, which will be in... Fucking 13 days, because it has no fuel. Ugh. Abysmal. Okay, in that case I will move it here instead, and I will do a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Strategic redeployment. Now it will take just over one day and then it can refuel go in here and then we can go into either Addis Ababa uh, or this tile over here for now I will keep my infantry in support of the Italians over here uh, I think that should be fine so let's roll the time see if there's any other comments I missed mm, do EU4 day by day no thank you um Oh yeah, we can see how much equipment uh, is lost in this battle so far. Uh, we lost 71 tanks by attrition, 10 in combat, and we recovered 6. 19 trucks, 220 guns, 56 support equipment, and 49 artillery. It's really not that much at all. And in enemy combat losses, we just have 121 um, infantry equipment. And basically, all our losses are due to attrition. Hmm. In combat, we lost very, very little. Interesting. And our infantry actually has a higher win ratio, apparently. Because it just was in fewer battles. <laughs> and we didn't finish all our battles with the Panzer. Ah, oh, you can even see old battles. Hmm. Diredawa. Yeah, this was the, uh, the battle where we lost the most men so far. 85 men in one battle. And a bunch of equipment. But 820 casualties on the other side, so... Something to be said for that, I guess. Anyway. Uh, let's continue rolling the time. Yeah, yeah, night falls. Very good. But uh, I don't think uh, much more is going to happen today. 